the DSL. In the bottom left, in the red, we have our underdog. Can he come back and win the next two games in a row? He is... MVP, Nobles. And in the upper right, proudly representing TeamLiquid.net, he is... Right. They're cross spots, so. Oh, look at that. Wait, what? What is going on? He's just like taking his hands off the keyboard completely. He's too, he just like played patty cake for four minutes in his booth without touching the keyboard oh my or mouse. Gosh. Jeez, Teja. He takes his shoes off, puts his toes up there for a little bit. Yeah. Then he actually types in a bunch of random takes letters. Takes out his nail file, just works on his cuticles some. I'm like, Tasia, you're in the GSL code S. <laughs> Could you pay attention and try to play your best here? There you go. That's wow. a man with confidence. That's the longest I've seen someone take their hands actually, off. Actually, you know what I, I have done, which is like so bad that I do, um, if I'm laddering, is I will tab out to change a song. Have you ever done that? I, every now and then. I it's normally so don't. so bad I shouldn't do it. Sometimes but like, I realize I've actually listened to the same song like 200 yeah, times so, in a row. So like, I, I'm like, I think I have the same three I'm songs. Like, I have to change this. Yeah. And it's so rude to pause that I try to not pause. And I tab Never out, and then like sometimes it's, it's slow. Shit did it. I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh. uh. You get back and all your sentries are dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I shouldn't have done that when I saw him stim and run towards me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Noblesse here with a command center first and a double racks. Tasia uh, going for a gas opener. We'll see what he wants to do with this. Uh, it is cross spawns, which I really want to point out. And that's something that makes it a little bit harder to get like a fluke off in the game. It also makes the watchtower worth a lot more. Yeah, sure. So two ways that it's going to change this map and the way that these two are going to have to play it out. In this matchup on this map, um, in these positions, the watchtower actually is important. Unlike almost every other matchup on this map, in these positions, or we're not in these positions. Well, you know, uh, oh, Tasha's actually just getting a reactor and going command center. Huh. Tasia. Are you ready to learn, Artosis? I'm ready to learn what he has going on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, so he, he went gas uh, into reactor for his barracks and command center, and now he's going into factory. So he's going to be able to actually just produce a lot of units. Uh, he can get out quite a few Marines while that factory's finished up. He may or may not go for reactor Hellions because he may just want to have a decent amount of Marines go up to a medevac, have some Hellions with it, and allow the medevac to heal the Marines. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this, but I I see now. Thank you, Tasia, because I was confused for a moment. I'm like, you're not, not anymore. You're not tricking a Protoss that just scouted you, by the way, because <laughs> he hasn't scouted you, and he's not Protoss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second gas is coming up. I love how the entrance to everybody's uh, main base on this looks like it has a giant GSL trophy there. Yeah. It's letting them know what they're fighting for here, Texas. Yeah. The GSL trophy is actually this big. They're like, oh my god. This map is it's actually very symbolic. Car. Yeah. These two players swept up in a whirlwind of games against the greatest on earth in the biggest league on the biggest map. Fighting for that GSL trophy. There you go. That's it. You are Tosis, you poet. Yes. Was I aware of it, do you think, Tasis? Probably not. Probably not. Probably was not, not, in fact, I aware was, of being a poet. I was a poet, and I the wasn't state of being fully a poet. aware that I was actually a poet. Like, <laughs> you always do it. <laughs> you just, you can't help it. <laughs> it's, it's so uh, funny. You're like some sort of addict for that joke. Well, I think it just cracks you up because I, I grew up with people being like, I'm a poet. I was a poet, and I didn't even know it. Yeah. You're like, uh, but to me, it really does tickle me to, like, I was... I'm a poet, and I like wasn't even fully like uh, aware. Of I the didn't fact comprehend that I was at the poet. moment. Yeah, at the moment that I was, I was my a, abilities, my abilities uh, as a poet. Yeah, to make things rhyme. And that's, that's with my poetic wit is actually yeah. above what I previously believed. What is some other phrase we can do that with? Like something that's like one of these things that rhymes, supposed to mean something. Uh, hmm. It's like a stitch in time. 
is going to save you a lot of work later on. It's slightly less apart. than 10. Yes. Yeah, slightly uh, more than 8. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, no less right now pushing out. Looks like he wants to uh, take over that tower for now. We do have I have a 4E is generally uh, you know a good rule, but there are certain exceptions to that, such as you know. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know what? This is kind of cool, actually. We have combat shields for Noblesse and uh, the Siege Chink with Siege Mode on the way. We do have Cloak here for Teja. Yeah. Uh, about to finish. There's uh, The bunker is is kind of crucial here for Teja's defense. He needs to pull and repair it really quickly. And he has this Marine out, so he's going to see it. Because this is going to be a lot of damage, so he can run up and perhaps kill the bunker. Here come the SCVs, though. And so, yeah, it, it looks like he's going to have to Siege. Oh, uh, oh. Some nice damaging ah. on the SCVs. Oh wow, that actually worked. That actually really worked. That went well. better than anticipated. Yeah, I didn't actually think that would work quite that well, but really well done by uh, Noble S here. Tasia now in some trouble, but he does have this Cloak Banshee, and that's a big part of this. Wow, killing off a lot of SCVs right now. His Marines coming down, targeting down the Sea Shank, a very crucial part of the defense. And the obviously, the Banshee combat here is just gonna yeah. help out so much. The Banshee was very crucial indeed. Uh, but Tasia's down to 29 SCVs against 41 of Noble S. Nice Noble S almost has as many SCVs as Tasia has supply. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice little timing rush here. Wow. Huh. That was all right. So let's let's take a look at where we're at. He actually. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I he's was pulled his. Oh no, he's just transferring. I'm sorry. Tasia like killed eight SCVs during that. Um. I was watching that battle. Yep. Oh, I'm bad. Um, but uh, 17 killed by Noblesse. So uh, that leaves us at 41 SCVs to 35. So, wow. All right. Well, Tasia dealing with that very well. Good multitasking, Tasia. Bad multitasking, Artosis. It's okay, Tosis. Yeah. We all know you work hard. Yeah. Work hard or work not quite as hard as you suspect. Working hard or actually, you know, <laughs> not, uh, yeah. Working hard or hardly working. Ah, uh, Artosis. We gotta go hit up by, um, we're actually gonna go to uh, a little hotel next to the airport. Yeah. Tomorrow, we got a flight early tomorrow to yeah. Taiwan. If you're just not joining us, we will not be casting tomorrow's match. Yeah, that's too bad. Wolf will be alone, Wolf in it. That's right. Hopefully uh, Stefano does make it through so we can cast him in the next round. I'd yeah. love that. Hopefully Wolf doesn't hog him and make him go to Code A so he can cast him yeah. even more. He would do that too. He would. He's selfish. Well, right now, they, it's, it's so weird how this is actually kind of balanced out overall, you know? Their, their SCV count, 49 to 48. Uh, their, their supply is 81 to 85. This is extremely close. Tasia going in for a little bit more harassment. Trying to get a little bit more ahead in that SCV count. That will work out for him. Noblesse is building his third command, whereas Tasia's had his for a bit, so that's that's really helped him out. More barracks, uh, just cranking out Tasia's army. You know, this is kind it's of like last game, where it was uh, two weird different openings uh, into a pretty darn even Pretty game. much brought you to the same place, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're in this place now where they're going to take their third bases, and no one is too likely to attack anytime soon. Just some light harassment, such as that medback drop that we saw nice. going in this, this Banshee. Do you think this drop's going to work well against that Siege tank and bunch of Marines? Uh, no. Okay, I think you're right. <laughs> Call it a hunch. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, oh. right before Stim finished for Tasia. Yeah, so right close, actually. Oh, my God. Well, Noblesse is moving out again. Oh my god, he's gonna get it. Oh my god! It. What? All that right. That was crazy. Noblesse is singing an MC Hammer song right now. <laughs> well, he's coming up here and hitting the location the third would be taken at. Supply extremely even. Another factory going up for Noblesse. Uh, Tasia. Already has his second factory, so that's going to help him to get ahead in that C chain count. Right now, he's actually behind by one, but you know, he's got to get that double production actually going. He's not, he has two, but he's not producing out of both. Because at this point, when the supplies start getting really high in the uh, over 100, 
you really need to focus on your siege tanks. While the Marines are very important, you have to have a certain amount. The siege tank splash against the clumped up Marines is really what you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, the Marines do so much damage that you have to have the siege tanks uh, hitting them. Uh, you know, because that's they're small units, uh, splash damage does a ton of, uh, and wipes out huge swaths of the Marines. Yeah. So if you lose your, all your siege tanks, they can just bully you around the map with their army. Mm -hmm. Tasia right now, extremely supply blocked at 121 yeah. and 121. Well, that is a big supply block. That's right. He'll start jumping up the supply now as he does fix that with some depots. Right about time, too, his uh, reactors are just now finishing. Mm -hmm. I love that turret that Noblesse is putting down. Random little turrets like that can save you the entire time. Oh, yeah. Well, Tasia. if you're going to drop on this map, you're probably going to hug the corners of the wall. Mm -hmm. Tasia looks like he wants to take the watchtowers. Or the, the watchtower, rather. Starting to get a little bit of map control going on. Third bases for both players are up completely. And spotting the drop there, Teja's element of surprise is now gone. Unless, of course, Noblesse wasn't paying attention. Which may very well be the case. I'm not sure. He doesn't seem to be reacting very much to this. Now, if he goes for that third base, there is a turret right there that could mess him up. Ah, he's unloading. Maybe a little stim run in towards that third. Take out a bunch of the, um, the Marines. I mean, yeah. the SCVs, actually. And in fact, look at this. He sees this attack coming, so this is a perfect time for him to do that. Oh, this would be so Oh, good. this is going to be such a powerful little attack. This is going to be dirty. Attack. He has the potential to get quite a bit. Okay, now he does see it. Noblesse had that Marine there waiting exactly for a move like this. So he is running back. And actually, he had some units rallied out that were in just the right position to stop this. Nice. Meanwhile, the army is continuing to move forward here. Uh, Forteji now controls the middle. 2-2 mm -hmm. finishing up for both players, plus one for their uh, tanks as well. This is an unbelievably close game, Tasteless. 51 Marines to 52, 11 tanks to 10, 3 medevacs to 5, 64 to 70. Oh, Stim so in close. here, coming in. And nice, he backs up, realizing, oh, okay, yeah. I'm actually, uh, I Stim, just a little bit too late. My siege one was a little bit too late. Tage backs up, mm -hmm. pretty much dead even supplies. Yeah, both of them splitting out of there with those Marines as the tanks finish their siege mode transformation. This is really, really close right now. You know, it. I mean, this. I am actually a little bit scared for Tej though, because this force moving around for Noble S. If he does a flank on that army, he will beat it. He will kill it. Even though Tej has oh, more yeah. supply right now, a bunch of it is at home. And this little group, yeah, all he needs is a nice flank against it. But with that watchtower, Tej may be able to see it in time. In fact, he will well, be going around for an attack. Are on the way. Oh, Ta he's actually going to do a counter. Yeah, but Teja had a Marine on the way, and he actually saw that coming. And nice scan, wants to know exactly what he's dealing with out here. So he's going to send his own little group. All right, he's coming down here now. He's getting ready to drop on there. Marines do stim up. Both players hitting their maxes, getting more command centers, getting those plus three upgrades. Looks like he may go in for a flank over here. Mm. Going to enter into the uh, Watchtower's vision. Ooh. You know, the Central Noblesse Tower. is still moving around with a group of uh, Marines that really aren't doing anything. And look at this, Tasia trying to get in here and snipe And this is the tanks. power of Medivacs there. But oh, unfortunately, wow. the Siege Tank's also so powerful, uh, it drives Tasia back. Yeah, he only killed one Siege Tank there. That was very ineffective. Uh, not that he can't just max right back out. And, in fact, just rallying in front of his base. So, Noblesse not able to do much here. All he's going to do is deny any expansion on that location. Meantime, trying to take one of his own. But Teja, you know, he's he's so close to Noblesse right now that he can move around and try to hit these expands, but Noblesse has enough tanks to keep him back. Um, well, uh, I do like what Noblesse is doing with this small squad of Marines. Anything he can intercept and pick off. He hasn't done much of that yet, but the idea there is uh, still pretty solid. Now, is Noble S getting spread out a little bit too thin? He's just moved a big group of units up. Oh, he is going for a big flank here, a double flank, in fact. Oh, God. This could be brutal, Tasteless. Oh, look at this flank on the minimap. Just watch the minimap, everyone. Look yeah, at this yeah, red yeah, gun throughout crazy. the center. Oh, my God. He's going to have. Oh, my God. But wait, we got to rush it in here. And by Tasia. And he could actually oh, he's going for a counter. This is huge, Tasteless. 
the stemming running in. These Marines are so low on health, they don't have enough medevacs with them. The tanks making short work of a lot of it, but Noblesse has a lot more moving forward. In the meantime, Tasia has killed the third base. We could be in a base trade scenario here. That's right, but these tanks in siege mode. Oh my god, Tasia pulling back. Noblesse, he's getting a huge lead from this. He's going to be able to take out this natural. And this is looking bad right now for Tasia. So uh, it looks like uh, all that Noblesse has to do is get into the main where Tasia's, um, you know, uh, 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 production center is, and he'll be fine. Yeah. Well, right now, Noblesse holding this planetary right now, killing a lot of these Marines. Tasia's army out here being a little bit indecisive, really not moving into the right positions to deal the damage he needs to. And Noblesse taking a huge lead right now. Faceless. I think we might be going on to game number three. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think it's going to be a third game here. How exciting. So now we're going to see uh, the final game for today. Who's going to be able to pull it off? I I don't know. Well, it's it's going to be tough. You know, Tasia's still trying to break through here. Ah, oh, he's just not able to quite. He sells a lot of siege tanks. He well, still has another that, base mining. It's but that it's, planetary, it's though, that's just getting him in a... Uh, you know, for Noble S, he just can't quite kill that because this is their side. Uh, does does uh, Noble S actually know about the center right expansion, which uh, Tasia has? He's scouting it right this second, so he's going to be able to send some units up to actually deal with that plane because he does have so many siege tanks over there. And Noble S's supply is a lot bigger, but it looks like he wants to stay here and guard that ramp because how do you walk down that ramp right now? It's just about possible. It's too cost efficient. He'll take too much damage as well. Yeah, but if he unseages and moves back, he actually, if these Marines will stim down and kill everything because Tage has so much at home. So this is a funny situation. More reinforcements coming up here uh, to aid in Noble S. And Tasia actually not able to mine anymore from that back expansion as three Marines run behind it. That the income from both these guys is pretty low. Mm -hmm. This is getting to be a quite a scrappy game at this point, but Tasia having a huge drop out. It's kind of funny to see a situation where he's mining from this location, but he has to spend so much of his income actually repairing that. And he has to spend a lot of Planetary. income actually scanning to attack it, but here, hold on, here we go. Looks like we're going to have a huge flank, and he's going to knock out the Noblesse force in his natural, but Noblesse has another force coming up here, and will come up to help reinforce. All right, Noblesse getting, uh, pushing him back now, regrouping. Staying mobile. I love well, this game, by the way. Noble S is playing so well. Yeah, yeah, Noble S uh, really showing a lot of skill here. You know, I was talking before about how I feel like this is his best matchup. And he does have the possibility to beat Tej, as we've seen here. He's played a pretty straight up game. He's played it very well. He, yeah, he did a lot of damage early on, but that is the nature of TPT. That happens. Yeah, that absolutely happens. It's, it's, it's. I think now, actually, all that Noblesse has to do is try to go in there and... and all right, GG. I was going to say, go in there and probably take out um, uh, Tage's uh, main base. I mean, mm -hmm. Tage didn't have much of anything. That was really well done by Noblesse. It really was. So we're now tied up 1-1. One one. What map will Tage choose? Hmm. This is a hard map choice, I think, for Tage. Um, I have no idea this time. Well... You know, he could go with something like Planet S because he plays in Pro League, uh, and that's going to be a map Noblesse doesn't really practice. So that could be an okay choice. Um, what else would be a good choice? Hold on. He just made it, so I'm going to check. I'm just going to check. Uh, Daybreak. Daybreak. No right. shocker. No. It's standard odds, map. Odds of cheese. Lots of cheese. I think higher with Noblesse. I would like to see Noblesse go with the gas opening. Not necessarily anything proxy, but a gas opening. Sure. Tage, I'm probably going to go Barracks gas, or uh, Barracks uh, command center opening. I wouldn't be surprised with that if he just goes into a kind of a standard, normal game, tries to play defensive, maybe goes up to Viking tank or something to try to stop any gas openings that Noblesse does. Yeah. All right, Tasteless, the game is loading. Let's get ready. You think Noblesse can do it? Ah, uh, you know, he played really well in the last game. You're right. PBT is his matchup. He's already doing a really good job. He beat Nessie, even though Nessie didn't play that well. I mean, you got to give the guy some props. So, yeah. at this point in time, I think it's anybody's game. I'm Tasteless. With me is Artosis. We're Tastosis, the casting archon here at the GSL.